Alright guys, so here is an internal shot of my, you know, my modified and custom DJI Phantom. So pretty much, I installed <laughs> a large variety of upgrade parts on here. I'm using the RC Tiger anti-gravity T-motor sets and also the anti-gravity 9x3 carbon fiber propellers from uh, ProphotoUAV.com. I'm using... Or I have a Zenmuse hooked up, so this is the Zenmuse GCU. I have a uh, mini iOSD you can see here. I'm using a full size Futaba. This is for, uh, I believe, a 8 channel one for my Futaba 8FG, long range or full range from a 2.4 to fast technology works very, uh, very good. Um, I have the NASA V2 on here. You can see it's pretty much. It's a, a large bundle of wire mess. It's very hard to hide all these wires. At first I was thinking about actually cutting all of these wires and shorting them up. But I was like, hey, what the hell, it's a phantom, you know. I'm not looking to save that much weight. So, you know, it's it should fly. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but you can see here, I just zip tied all the wires and took a nice little circle. So when I close the lid, they all fit right nice in here. I have a gap between the receiver and the nozzle. So the nozzle is still isolated. So it's not really touching any wires or any other uh, objects around there. One thing you guys can't see is the, uh, the PMU. So the NASA PMU is since because since I'm not using the stock uh, Phantom receiver and transmitter, I took out the uh, the DJI Phantom receiver and I'm using my full size Futaba once again. And now I mounted my PMU in this compartment down here. So you guys can't see it. it's really really hard. But let me try to focus and look inside the battery compartment. And you can see there it is. GPS cables in the way, huh? So there you go. You can see I got my PMU down there. It's hiding in there, but it fits. It's away from the battery, and that way it allows me to get a lot more space, you know, in this little area right here to mount the GCU and the mini IOSD. Um, the video transmitter that I'm using is going to be mounted outside just to help with the cooling. I was going to put it inside at first, but with just so much tight space. I'm just going to put it outside just to keep things easy. You can see I got my bundle of wires up here. I try using zip ties to keep all the wires nice and neat so that way it's not flopping around and, you know, moving around and, hope, and you know, maybe short out. So I just kind of zip tied it really loose along here. This is the GPS. So I have the NASA uh, V2 GPS hooked up. I saw a few guys that on the forums. You can see all I did was I removed the top cover. You can see here. And then just put the GPS on here. I just used the same screws that I took off. Just remember the front is going to be facing towards the front, which is going to be this wire coming out. And I probably end up getting some uh, some of that shielding tape, the copper tape, and just you know putting that tape around here just to shield the GPS. Hopefully there won't be any problems. But if you know there is any problems with the GPS being so close to the flight controller and all of this electronics inside, I'll just take it out and put it on a uh, you know a stick just to keep it up. But I'm gonna try like this first to see how it works. Hopefully it works. Maybe it maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But you know the compass is actually built inside, so it's not separate. So that might be a problem. But let me quickly flip it over and show you guys how I have the wires. So here we go. So you can see down here I have my uh, video. Uh, I have my wire for my video transmitter, and I also have the battery wire to power my uh, video transmitter, which I have right over here. I got the Fat Shark 600 milliwatt. I'll be using the uh, Clover Leaf antenna on here just to get better signal, better reception, better range, just better all over thing. I got my Zen Boost mount on here. I got my uh, 3D printed Shapeways uh, Simon Says landing gear kit on here. I'm still debating if I want these landing gears or do I want the stock ones. I might put the stock ones back on just for now, but I'm still debating because I'm almost done. Before I put the cover on, should I put it on or should I leave it off? <laughs> but you can see, it's everything fits surprisingly. Everything fits right back inside. So yeah, that was a quick look at my uh, Phantom. You know how I installed everything. It's not a lot of space to work with, and this thing's already heavy. Right now, current all out weight with the battery minus the Zenmuse gimbal is about 908 grams. So that's including motors, props. You know, IOSD, full size receiver, GCU, and the mount itself, but just no gimbal. But it's but it's pretty heavy now. So I think with the gimbal on there, it's gonna run up to about 500 grams. So yeah, that was a quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching.